Welcome back to another video on Adventure Away. Today I have something very special, and that very special something is, if I can get it, is in this SD card. And what's inside here is, is going to unlock what this car's engine potential. It's going to unlock the beast. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. So, I'm gonna get the Nanocom, plug it into the car, and um, we're gonna work some magic. It's somewhere down here. If you haven't figured already, it's a, a remap for the engine, a tuning file. I've, I went with the Storm Tuning Stage 2. I, I had a Stage 1. When I first got this car, I think it was a stage one, but a stage two, it's gonna go just a little bit more quicker and it's gonna have so much more torque. Anyway, here's the on-screen display. I'm gonna go Disco 2. I'll probably plug in my SD card as well. I think it goes in this way. Yep. And we go TD5. And uh, TD5 map. Turn my ignition to on and go uh, right tuning to ECU. And we select the file I need and go OK. Write the map to the ECU, yes. Yeah, the ignition is on. Turn the ignition off. And we wait 15 seconds. It's always a bit nerve wracking uh, messing with your car's ECU. Because if you stuff up, the car ain't gonna go anywhere. Turn the ignition on. That's okay. And uh, yep, yeah, it is. It is writing the tuning file right now, and I'm not gonna move because if I move and accidentally kick the connection off, I'm kind of stuffed. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm when this is almost finished. Okay. All right, so we're almost finished. Almost there. Almost there. I don't know if I said this, but it's always nerve-wracking doing these kind of things. Especially because I'm a noob and not, not know what I'm doing when it comes to these things. I just got told to put the map file into the Anacom and press right tuning to ECU. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! My glow plug light turned on. My temperature gauge is working. My hill descent control light's still on. Map program successfully. Okay. We'll exit out of that. it out of that. Heel descent control light's still on. Turn you off. Unplug that. I'll switch the ignition off and I'll turn it back on. All right, moment of truth, guys. I just gotta take it for a test drive. Right, we'll get we'll get Cole's genuine reaction as well. Okay, so there's no one behind me, so here's the launch with the stage two remap. We'll see if Cole gets any reactions. Jesus! How was that? That was a very good launch. <laughs> Holy crap. 
do you expect this to be a diesel turning 33s? <laughs> Holy shit! See what I mean? I have unlocked the beast that's hiding underneath this bonnet. <laughs> Stage 2 storm tuning, man. <laughs> Far out. And if I don't drive like a maniac like this, apparently I save fuel. Yeah, we'll see how well that goes, eh? <laughs> anyway, speaking of fuel, I need to go get refueled before I take this car off-roading. And now, uh, I'm just going to quickly get my off-roading gear, uh, put some diesel in this, and we'll go off-roading and see how it performs off the beaten track. Let's do this! The stage 2 remap. It's doing pretty well off-road as well. It's got about... Uh, three, 390 or 400 newton meters or something. I don't 100% know. I didn't really look it up. I just got a stage two remap just cause. But I can tell you, there's a lot more download torque in this car now. Uh, that's what you want when you're off-roading. Uh, I'm really impressed. You got all the power you want when you give it the beans. And then you got all the low end torque as well. So stage two remap, awesome on road. Awesome off-road. Win-win. So far, I love it. What do you reckon of the Stage 2 remap? It's bloody good. Yeah. <laughs> Both uh, on and off-road. Yeah. I'm obviously not doing anything too stupid because I'm out here by myself. Well, not really by myself. I don't have another car to pull me out if I do end up in a really bad situation. So. There's not much interesting videos, but just enjoy, I guess. We're off to another obstacle, which I'll get Cole to do some more recording. <laughs> I know the camera's not going to pick this up, but it's decently steep. I'm going to go up probably the hardest part on this track, the guts of it. And I'm just going to crawl up and try and crawl it. My range first gear. Oh crap, which way do I go? Left or right? I can't see. I'll go right. Go right and then hit a left here. Yeah, guys, the car's just idling up this hill, eh? Well, that was easy. <laughs> I just crawled up that. I mean, obviously I was on the accelerator, but I didn't have to like rev the guts out of it. Just do, 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 do. oh, should I go? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Walked up it. Stage two tuning. I mean, you can do it with the normal map as well, but I think the stage two does help when you're off-roading as well. Just that extra torque it gives you. I'm coming up this off camber, or not off camber, but cross axle. I think that's what it's called section and I'll just get Cole to jump back out for me and do a bit of recording if you do mind please. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Side and then work my way to the right. Chicken trail, I'm 
not much of a chicken trial anymore, but I definitely hit my awning, I know that for sure, but I've got to stay on this side, so yeah. Last time I went, did, did this track, I hit the ball bar. Good luck. Absolute numpty. Last obstacle, nothing too hard. I'm, I decided not to go back to the main entrance. I'm going to go up to the different entrance because I'm bugged. <laughs> so I'm going to do this hill and I call it a day air up and head on home, I guess. But, uh, mm -hmm. One last hill. Thanks for watching. You thought I, I got rid of you, eh? Not yet. I'm going to do a 0 to 100 test and see how fast... It'll go to 0 to 100 in Cole's smartphone thingy-ma-bob timer. So stage 2 remap uh, on 33s. We'll see what it will do with 0 to 100. And me and Cole will both give our conclusion on what we think of the stage 2 tune. And I'm not going to go anywhere because there's a car coming now. I just wait. What? Alright, never mind. Right. In three, two, one, go! Stock tires, stock everything is about 15 seconds, seconds knocked 100. That's pretty good. Yeah. Knocked one second off on 33s. Imagine when I put my 31s back on. That's pretty good. Happy with that. So, in conclusion, stage two remap definitely worth it. Storm tuning for the win. Yeah. What do you reckon, Cole? Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It's good on-road. It's good off-road. Heaps of torque. Don't ask me about fuel economy. Not yet anyway, because I'll be too busy putting the foot down. But <laughs> yeah, I am just over the moon. I thought stage one remap was pretty good and then chuck the stage two in and just... What is this? Holy crap. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, then that bombshell... <laughs> I'm going to call it a day, I'm going to end the video there, so thank you very much for tuning in and watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, bye! bye.